We're out to find broken, useless websites and give them a purpose to grow your business. Now that we reviewed the website with the customer and got, uh, got their feedback, uh, we have a list of changes to make. Uh, there's, there's a lot of little things, uh, but there are some very important things, some, some content, some, some words and grammar and, uh, and also some design changes. So we're gonna put those in place. Uh, and again, this is, you know, our goal is to get something that's launchable and actually we're gonna launch the website today. So we wanna get uh, these primary changes done, but then we can follow through and make other changes later. So let's dive right into uh, making those changes for the customer. Uh, we're gonna start by clicking on Enable Visual Builder. So first we'll start with the positive feedback that he gave us. Um, he, he loves this uh, video background that we did. Uh, he said, you know, he did all this rock work and the waterfall and even the little walk, um, you know, this little bridge over here. Um, so he did all of this work uh, and it really represents everything that he's doing for outdoor living. Um, so he loved the video background. He loved the, he loves these little light fixtures and how that kind of makes it 3D and the lights and the gradients. So he loves all of that. Um, he really likes this darker adobe red color. So that came out really, really well. Um, and so we need to apply that same filter to the other one on the page. He loves this um, side picture. However, we got to swap some of this stuff around uh, and he likes and he wants to change some of the uh, the text here uh, he likes the texture on the bottom here we got to make this color uh, darker and uh, so this is one of the things here we got to get move that down below uh, maybe I just missed it but I thought I'd already moved it down so we'll have to do that again uh, and he loves the helmets here on the testimonials he thought that was great and uh, all the FAQs, he got that in the texture on the bottom. So there was a lot of little details that he loved about the website. So now we got to kind of dig in and make sure that it's uh, everything is written and organized the way he wants. Uh, one of the one of the great feedbacks he said he thought these were buttons up here. Uh, so which is a great idea. We can link these to different places on the page. So we're going to do that. Uh, but also he wasn't 100% uh, on board with the particular text that we use. So we're gonna change out the text, we're gonna link those to different sections, and then we're gonna swap out some more things. So, so here we go, we're ready to get started on making these changes, and let's just start with these with the text here. I'm going to open this up in a box. So instead of outdoor parties, he wanted to go with, um, actually in the order, he wants to go with a trusted name uh, he is doing so much branding for his business uh, that here, and we're in the rural area, so this is a really big, important thing, and people want work that's done by uh, the Viking. Uh, so it's a really cool, it's like a movement, So it, which is really cool. So a trusted name is what we came up with for that one. And then the second bullet here is gonna be uh, peace of mind. Uh, this has to do with uh, security, and uh, you know for people to be able to just be comfortable uh, and you know and safety uh, in their outdoor living space so peace of mind and then the last one is going to be a little bit more on point which is just simply outdoor living All right, so now we've got those labeled and we got them in the order that he wants them. Uh, we're gonna come back later and link those to the right sections. Now for the next section we talked about, uh, this, is, this section here is really about who he is and his experience. Uh, so we're gonna change, we're gonna change, actually we wanna move this whole section or this text, we wanna move this text up here. So with, without losing any of this, I'm gonna make a copy of this. And I'm gonna move it down below because this is the order that, so that, so I've just got a backup copy in case I mess something up. Okay, so that's there. Cause I wanna keep this copy, we just don't want it here. 
So we're going to take this copy over here. And we're going to put it into this box up here. So we're ch kind of changing the order of, of what we're doing here. Uh, so normally when we lay this out, we would kind of cover the why first and then go into the experience. But for him and because branding is so important, we're going to make that the next block. So we're just going to switch these two blocks. Okay, so then I'm going to grab this text here. Okay, and I, think I took out the S, the apostrophe S out of there, so that was one of the things we were looking at. And we wanna, okay, so now I'm gonna come in and change this text here. And then he wanted to change country to US. Okay. And he wanted bullets here, so I gotta kinda figure out how we're gonna handle that. Um, this text is centered so I'm wondering if uh, so on a Mac I can hold the option key and press the number 8 and so I can kind of get a bullet there it's kind of hard to center bullets but I think we can do that if we just put a special character in there so uh, one of the leading experts in the US uh, outdoor lighting contractor since 2000 so we wanted these to kind of be bullets here and then so that's a comma which we don't need that at all now and then we have the sentence previously the Viking has spent 10 years as a distributor in the lighting industry okay all right this is coming together the way he wants it now he wanted those bullets and he wants it followed by the sentence so we've got all those little corrections made there and then he loves this picture but we want this section to be uh, about him so we want to show a, a photo of him uh, so I'm going to go into the row, and I'm going to go into the second column, and we'll go to the background image. And so he emailed me over a picture that he wants to use of himself. So here he is. So this is obviously too big, so we need to get this scaled down. But I'll, I'll do that as a separate little exercise. Just go into the media, media library and scale down the image and then, <clears throat> and then replace it. So um, we're going to leave this. He's got some other photos, and we can come in and add, uh, you know, kind of split this into three boxes, uh, which I think would be cool. Uh, but for right now, this really kind of achieves uh, what we want to do with this section because it's talking about him. He's a leading expert. You know he's been doing lighting contractor and we got a picture of him so this is exactly the way we want this uh, and while we're here we're going to go into our section settings and go to advanced so we're in the advanced tab and we're going to click on the CSS and ID and in the ID box we're gonna we're gonna do a trusted name with no spaces and we'll save that off and then since it's right here now we could we could do this one I think what we'll do is just make this the this text module we'll just link this whole text module we don't want to make it a button we don't really want to make it obvious but if somebody accidentally clicks on it we want that that module to go uh, just scroll down a little bit to this section so a trusted name so we started with a hashtag because it's an on page link um, so we're not going to a different page we're staying on this page we just want to go to that section so and we'll save that so this gets our first section updated the way we want it and we want this in order is you know to just make logical sense a trusted name is going to go here and then peace of mind is going to go to our next section uh, which is going to be this this part right here. So we just use this text. So we got to replace this text with the uh, the text that we covered up on the other one. So we're going to take this text, and we don't even like this this saying here. We want to really use his uh, statement inviting the inside out, which is right here. So this is really what we want to use. So I'm going to copy that. 
and then I'm gonna replace this title over here so again we're swapping this around and inviting your inside out is the way he phrases that so we're gonna make that edit here as well Oops. All right, inviting your inside out. I don't know that we need the period there, so let's looks better without it. All right, so we're gonna save that, and then we just wanna change the sentence below it. And so the, instead of just dragging and dropping the module, we've already done the mobile adjustments. Um, for these settings so I don't want to mess with those mobile settings so that's why I'm copying and pasting uh, the text from one module to the next it, it seems kind of counterintuitive at first but I don't want to lose that other work that we've already done so I'm just updating the text here and that completes this section so inviting your inside out this is really the kind of the peace of mind section so I'm going to go over to our specialty section settings, advanced CSS, and this is going to be a piece of mind. And I'm just doing that. I can even copy it to my clipboard. And then we're going to scroll back up and we're going to link this little text module to that specific place on the page. Link, module link, start with a hashtag and then we paste from our clipboard and that one's done so now these this will become a kind of on page navigation and when we come back later on and build our main navigation it, it won't be mixed up so this will only be for this page which is kind of cool so the outdoor living space is really going to go to a list of all the services that he has um, and since we have So since we already have this copy over, we can delete this section now. And then what we want to do is move this down. This should be after the list of services. Okay, make sure I save that. Not sure how I got moved up, but it's all right. Okay, so now this is gonna be the third section Oh, we have inviting your inside out there. So we may need to connect this outdoor living. So what we'll do here is we'll just change this text to outdoor living, living services. And that makes it very plain. checking my notes just to make sure I'm getting everything the customer wanted to do okay okay we're on this next six section here so we're gonna make this linkable as well we'll go to the settings advanced CSS ID this will be the third section which is just outdoor living copy to that to the clipboard I'm gonna scroll back up and this third bar here we're just going to link the whole module, put our hashtag in. Okay, good. So now this text reads the way he wants it to read, and it links to the sections that are presented in the order of the of those callouts. So the next thing we wanted to do is we didn't need all the words with the commas. So we can just remove all of these and then everything is in paragraph format. Um, he had a some some companies specific brand of products that he uses. He's going to send those on a late, at a later time, so we will just address those when he sends them over. But for today, we are going to just make these edits so that we can launch the site. Uh, so I'm just taking out all. I just put words in there. 
when we were brainstorming. So I just got to kind of clean that out. The rest of the sentences, I think, look, look very good and read well. Okay. I'm going to give this a little bit more spacing here. Get that down to 150. And then, so this red background, we really like the way that it was treated up here. So we want to see if we can replicate those settings. So this was in the left column. Here's the background image, and we set it to multiply. And we have this Adobe Color, the BA6 set. So let's see if we can do that to the section below to make it a little bit brighter. So background. Okay, we got this texture there. And I think, oh, it's on soft light. So we're going to change that to multiply. All right. And then this is in all gray. Which I think kind of works. So that's that change. Are you frustrated with trying to write content for your website, learn the web design software, and overcome all the technology challenges to get the website launched? We understand what it's like to spend hours writing, designing, and launching a website. Don't waste your time and money on something that you don't enjoy. We can easily walk you through an affordable process of creating a web design with a purpose. You will be stress-free and feel like a successful business person. All you have to do to get started is visit shepherdsloft.com and book a free web design with a purpose appointment. I don't believe there's any changes there. Oh, and here when you click these and they open up that they're still black so when they open we want them to turn gray open toggle background color and if I remember correctly it was all threes okay so I'm gonna save this and I need to test we want to test this FAQ section So I'll load it up in another tab. That way I can make sure that everything's saving. There's this picture. Find the inside out. There's the dark color. Yes. Oh, and then when we click these, they turn gray. So, excellent. So we got to do the other side. So we will copy these accordion styles. So copy module styles, and then we go to the triple dot and paste module styles. Okay, save that. Again, we're going to refresh this. I kind of wish this was just black here on this divider. Oh, and we're going to check these. Yep, those turn gray. That's much nicer. Boom. Oh, and we got to link all our buttons to our form page. So let's do that. So if you're paying attention, we are usually, this has been a big issue with um, getting spam from the forms. And what we've learned is that the, uh, the spammers are targeting specific pages. Um, so if you name your page anything other than contact or contact us. Um, so this is our message page. Uh, it doesn't look like there we have any background on it so we might want to make this this page black so let's edit 
not sure why it's in one column so let's en enable our visual builder and do some quick edits on this So this is, okay, this is a map setting. We're not gonna use a map. It doesn't have a physical office. And then this can go to one column. And we can change the settings, the background to black. That'll make it a pop out. We could probably put some of these questions in two columns and make the background a little lighter gray but we're going to save this and then we're going to grab our URL so we can go update our buttons All right so we've exited out so this is our page probably could use a little more jazz maybe an image at the top uh, but we can we can do that later um, we're going for functionality first right now in this updates. Okay, so now that we've got our link, we can come back to our home page that we're editing and we're going to program our buttons to go to the right page. Um, okay, so this is, so let's see if we can use our button from the library. And that way, if it needs to be updated, okay, that's going to look good on that one. And we need the button here too, so we need to make another copy. Uh, this will be interesting because this is a two column, so we'll have to have. We'll have to have another row underneath. That's a one column. And then we can put our button button at the bottom in the center. There we go. And um, I really want one here. So again, the same thing. We need a row. Uh, this may be too many buttons, but we'll see in a minute. We may decide to remove remove the one above to where we have the biggest gaps. There's a big gap here, so it might make more sense to have a button here and not have one there. So we've got one here. We don't have one there. We've got one here. So these these two buttons are really close together. That button just looks good in that, that box. Okay, so let's delete this one. And those they get down to the one, two, three. Uh, the testimonials, the FAQs, and then the button again at the bottom. So again, we want to put our global button in here, add from library, and then choose the global one. We will delete the, um, the old one. So that should be the same button all the way down the page with the same link. Okay, and those are linked there. That's global. Okay, let's save. Okay, I'm going over to the other tab that's not in the editor so I can refresh. And so I'm going to test the button here. Which works. And then all the buttons should be the same, but I'll test them anyway. Okay, so that's looking good. I can also hover over the button. I can see on the bottom left that the that the link is the same. So I can verify that those are all going to the same place. 
the correct place. All right, that's it. So this concludes our our initial homepage um, design and layout for this customer. Uh, he may have some additional tweaks and things after we launch, but we're, we're going to do a soft launch today on this website, and then because uh, he's got a an event next Monday night. Um, so we're going to go ahead and launch this as it is and then we get to really start uh, working on this website so this is just a starting point for us we're going to be adding um, projects and portfolios and galleries um, as he's doing work and just you know enjoy the enjoy the journey of being a viking outdoor living Stay tuned for some more upcoming episodes. We have a web design for a catering business and also fiber optics for a neighborhood. Uh, so these are going to be really interesting little web design projects and you can join in with us. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up.